Hey guys, it's Poxero. Welcome to the 76 guide. Today I'm going to be going over how to get steel in Fallout 76. So there are a couple methods to getting steel. You can go ahead and mine iron veins and then uh, smelt those with acid at a chem bench to get steel. Um, you can loot items and scrap those down to get steel. Or you can pick up a lot of different weapons from different enemies that like guns, spe uh, specifically guns, and scrap them down. And you can also use a perk card in the int tree to give you extra scrap, uh, extra junk when you're scrapping down those weapons. And then certain enemies will also drop steel scrap, like killing liberators, iBots, protectrons, gutsies, or robots. So if you run silos, you'll probably pick, end up picking up a decent amount of scrap from each of those robot kills. And then you can go to a workshop on the map called the Graft and Steel Yard Workshop. So I'll go ahead and showcase that later. And then there's also iron deposits around the map that you can set your camp near and then set up an extractor and harvest that passively at your camp. The first one that I'm going to go ahead and showcase is going to be getting the iron veins. So we're going to head to Hornwright testing site number three where there's going to be 10 iron in this area and it's just a really big iron vein so this right here is hornwright testing site number three at the bottom at the very bottom of the map here is the iron vein this is kind of like the red top right here of the i guess that's not really an extractor but this is like a red crane and over there is the actual testing site and then right here is the iron and along, you know, usually when you mine things, I do recommend having a excavator torso so that you can get the extra yields. Um, and then you can just mine these. And then down here, there's more on this corner. And then down here, there's a bit more. So there's just a bunch of iron in this section and you can mine all of that and smelt it down. For the next method, it's going to be looting and scrapping them down. And we're going to go to a location that has a bunch of chimes, those little, little, little tin cans that when you bump into them, it alerts enemies of your area or of your position. Uh, you can loot those and you can just scrap them down into steel. So I'll show you a place that has a bunch of those. We're going to go ahead and go to the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort where there's going to be a bunch of these chimes up for grabs. And the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort is going to be up here by the top of the world, kind of in the center of the map. And we can just fast travel. All right. So once you're here at this area, we can run through and then there's going to be these drop downs. And these guys, you can just pick up. These are can chimes. You just disarm them. And when you disarm them, it'll give you some of the tin cans. Nine tin cans. Boom. Nine tin cans. And boom, another nine right there. And then we just run through here. You can get those tin cans. I always thought there was tin cans hanging from this doorway as well. But I already server hopped. And they're not here on the second server. So maybe I'm remembering wrong. Um, but you can check there really quickly. Maybe they are. They do spawn there. And I just got unlucky twice. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and put a couple other locations in, this, in the description for chime hunting in case you don't want to do any mining. And that way you can just scrap those down and get, uh, get a lot of steel that way. The next way is to actually go to a workshop and get steel that way. So this has four steel at the Grafton Steel Yard up here in the map by the 61. This is Vault 76 for reference. And if you conquer or if you take over this workshop, you can get the extractors running on four steel and that will just harvest a bunch of steel for you uh, passively once you have it set up. And yeah, that's kind of a really solid way. Four steel is quite a bit, so you can get a bunch of steel um, from that extractor from that workshop. And then the other method would be to use your map that I'll to use the map that I'll link in the description. And then you can set up your camp near a extractor site and just kind of have your camp there and have an extractor on the steel ore. Um, and then the last method that I'll really briefly talk about is harvesting weapons or looting weapons and scrapping them down. So pretty much any enemy you kill, uh, mostly prefer to kill super mutants because their weapons are a bit on the better side in terms of steel yields. So you can go to like place like West Tech, uh, Grafton Steel Yard actually has a bunch of super mutants. And um, yeah, just farm super mutants and then loot their weapons. You can go to those two locations. You can also go to um, Abandoned Bog Town has super mutants there as well. So there's like three, three locations to farm super mutants. And then you loot their weapons and then you use the scrapper perk card in the int tree, which I'll go ahead and show really quick to scrap them down yeah right there so you equip this card and then you have all the weapons and you scrap them and then you'll just get like a bunch of yields of steel that way and some other mats as well and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section below otherwise until next time